you just touch on a key word too, the being the fearlessness, mm -hmm. which is very important for the entrepreneurial successes. Can you to build on that a little bit? And then, well, a lot of people are thinking about, oh, I want to be my own boss. <laughs> but when they encounter some obstacles, well, they turn around, right. run away. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, I think that the important thing is to remember that fearlessness should never ever be confused with recklessness. Mm -hmm. And you know what, a little bit of stage fright in business or a little bit of stage fright, you know, before anything in life is okay. It doesn't mean you're a coward. Um, it just means that you're being realistic and you're being true to yourself. Mm -hmm. But you know, don't, don't be reckless. Don't just go out there and, you know, have cash burn and, you know, crash and burn. Um, you have to be smart and a little bit of fear is okay, but a lot of bit of fear is going to be an obstacle and it's going to cause you to, you know, it's going to be an obstacle and you're going to trip over it. Mm -hmm. well, I guess what is yeah, something that, well, it ties very well with the failure too. Mm -hmm. If I remember one of the slides that you used for the failure is just another word for learning. Yes. Where did you get this one? <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I honestly don't mm -hmm. know. Failure, like we were talking about today and last night and really for mm -hmm. the, the whole time I've been yeah. in um, Michigan, failure is something that you encounter in life. It is mm -hmm. not just related to business. It's related to relationships. It's related to academic. Like everybody mm -hmm. fails. Um, you, you can't control that. Like mm -hmm. you're going to fail. But what you can control is what you do with that lesson. And you know, the failures I've had in my life, you know, I've really, and I haven't always been good at this because I, you know, I'm, I'm an incredibly ambitious person, but, um, you really have to let them teach you and sort of lead you on this path. And even the, the whole Silicon Valley failure thing, like in Silicon Valley, if you don't fail once, you're not taken seriously. Mm -hmm. And you, it's a badge, it's a badge of honor to, to have failed. And they actually have a whole entire conference yeah. built around failure, which is, mm -hmm really wacky to me but it's it's a real thing and i you know i think that you know one of the things that we can take out of silicon valley is that mm -hmm. you know shared failures um mm -hmm. can serve as a very good platform for um education and for sure. you know preventing people from making the same mistakes mm -hmm. yeah but amy that didn't mind we get the the personal <laughs> how personal <laughs> <laughs> like what i'm gonna share with us uh, your biggest failure and uh, what you learned from that and mm -hmm. uh, how did you uh, also leverage mm -hmm. your failure to well, build your success? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I failed a lot. <laughs> like, I failed a lot. I have made, you know, egregious mistakes as a leader. And I remember when I started at Entrepreneur Magazine, it was about seven years ago, um, I, you know, I, I was going into this this job. Mm -hmm. I, I moved from from Denver to Orange County, California. Mm -hmm. I was a single mother. I have two very young children, and you know, I, I have a tendency to be a little bit too optimistic. And I mm -hmm. thought I would be able to to step into this role, and everybody would want to follow me. Everybody would want to be a part of something mm -hmm. special and magic, and you know, change like the the whole the whole uh, position was mm -hmm. about changing the editorial approach and changing. The structure of the editorial and I was really excited about it and I, I really thought I would, I would step into the, the bullpen, the editorial department and people would be like, yay, change! Um, I could not have been more wrong. <laughs> um, I, I walked into the, the department and not only um, did they not want to change, they wanted everything the same. Most of them had been there for you know 25 years, had very little exposure to other types of media. Um, but they hated me. Mm. They hated me from the moment I stepped into that department. And it was a big failure, Amy. <laughs> well, it, I, I feel like I failed as a leader. You sure, know, sure. I was a little bit naive and a little bit too moony about the, you know, uh -huh. what could be. Um, and I'm not sure that I led those people as well as I could have. And uh -huh. I, I would consider that, you know, a failure of sorts. Yeah.